comes to personal finance, there are basically two types of habits, wealth building habits and wealth diminishing habits. Every financial decision you make will either move you closer to wealth or further from it. So it stands to reason that the more wealth building habits you adopt, the more likely you are to become wealthy. In this video, I'm going to cover five of the top financial habits that have been proven to help people build wealth. By the way, welcome to Money Matters. Our goal is to give you the best tools, advice, and up-to-date tips and strategies so that you can live your best life. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for up-to-date information. The first major wealth-building habit is to set better financial goals. One thing I've found throughout my personal finance journey is that most people have a general idea of their financial goals, but few people actually write them down and clearly set a timeline to achieve their goals. For example, it's normal to hear someone say, I want to be a millionaire. But the problem with goals like this is that they lack definition and clarity. If you want to be a millionaire, what's your timeline for achieving that goal? Also, what kind of steps are you going to take on a consistent basis in order to achieve it? A better goal would look something like this. Within the next 20 years, I'm going to have a net worth over a million dollars. In order to achieve this goal, I'm going to get out of debt in the next two years and invest a minimum of $2,000 per month in mutual funds, with an average annual return over the last 10 years of at least 12%. If you want to build wealth, you need to get in the habit of setting better, clearly defined financial goals. The next important step in building wealth is live on a budget. Budgeting is one of the most important wealth building habits you can adopt because it is your daily and monthly plan for achieving your financial goals. It is also your guide for when it comes to making sound financial decisions. It's so very important to be aware of all of your expenses. You need to know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. You can't build wealth spending more money than you make, and you can't grow and build wealth without saving enough money to invest. It all boils down to sitting down with a budget every day, tracking your expenses, and checking in and refocusing on your financial goals. That's why living on a budget is one wealth-building habit you need to master. Another valuable tip in the journey to building wealth is save before you spend. This is often referred to as paying yourself first. You see, for most people, saving money is the last item on their financial list. In other words, they save whatever money is left in their checking account after paying all their bills, covering all their expenses and spending money on fun and recreation. The problem with this method is that it subjects your monthly savings to the whims of your spending habits by placing it at the bottom of your financial priority list. Think of saving money like this. If you want to save it, then you need to make it the first action you take with every paycheck and live off of whatever money is left over. Also, if you really want to protect your savings, I recommend setting up a savings account at a completely different bank than your checking account. If you really want to grow your wealth, it's important to stay away from debt. Debt is the opposite of wealth. Now, there are different types of debt, but I'm mostly referring to high-interest personal consumer debt, such as credit cards, auto loans, and personal loans. Think about it. With wealth, you earn interest on your money and increase your net worth. Whereas, whenever you incur debt, you increase your liabilities, which decreases your net worth, and you end up paying somebody else interest instead of earning it. Even on 0% debt, you are restricting your monthly cash flow, which hinders your ability to invest and save money. Not good. When you eliminate all your financial liabilities, i.e. money you owe to somebody else, you will only ever spend your life adding to your net worth. All right, so the fifth wealth building tip is to develop passive streams of income. Passive income is money you earn that doesn't require your continued presence or work. If you've ever heard somebody talk about making money while you sleep, they were referring to passive income. The most basic and foundational form of passive income is interest earned on investments. 
For example, if you invest in index funds, dividend stocks that earn interest every year, then the money you make on that investment is considered passive. Other forms of passive income include owning rental investment properties in which you get monthly cash flow from tenants paying rent. You could also set up a website or blog that generates income through affiliate products. The more income streams you can generate, the quicker you can build your wealth. If you implement these five personal finance habits, you will be well on your way to building your wealth. Remember, building wealth takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, unless you get lucky and hit the lotto. Just remember these wealth-building habits and implement them consistently, and you'll be alright. That's all for today's video. Comment below with your thoughts and let us know if we missed anything. If you are new here, welcome! Subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching and don't forget, money matters!